Enemy dropping into the AR. In the first of the Assault Rifle Gun Wars, we're going to be pitting the FAL against the Kilo and deciding which of these guns you should be using in the second half of Season 4 of Warzone. So starting with the FAL, let's take a look at some of its base stats. It has a damage profile of 105, 78, 65, 65, which is by far the highest of all of the Assault Rifles. Its RPM is only 470, but that is because it's a single shot weapon, therefore it's essentially how fast your trigger finger is as opposed to how fast the gun fires. Uh, the reload speed is 1.94 seconds, which ranks 9th of all the assault rifles, but as this should be primarily used as a long range gun, the reload speed won't make too much difference. However, the clips you see later may make you change your mind about what distance this gun can and should be used at. And that leads nicely onto the ADS speed of 228 milliseconds, which is actually the fastest of all the assault rifles. So that may go some way to explaining why at short range the file can still be used. And finally we have the movement speed of 94%, which ranks joint 7th. That all the assault rifles have a similar movement speed, so that isn't too much to take into consideration. So what does that give us? It gives us a very high powered semi-automatic assault rifle that looks perfect for a long range fight. But let's see how some of these stats change when we add on our attachments. And the attachments that we've chosen to go for this time are the monolithic suppressor, the XRK Marksman Barrel, the VLK 3x Optic Scope, and then for the foregrip we'll give you a choice, you can choose, if you're somebody that gets into close range fights then the Commando foregrip or the Merc foregrip would be perfect for you. If you're looking to use this weapon at a bit further range, then we recommend the range of foregrip as you'll see in the clips later, and then finally we've got the granulated grip tape. So what do we get as a result of this? We've given ourselves increased accuracy, increased range and increased control with some decreased mobility. However, as this gun already has the fastest ADS speed of all the assault rifles, that won't be too much of an issue. So the final thing to look at is the recoil of the gun. Then we've got two clips on screen now. On the left hand side you have the foul without any attachment and on the right hand side you have a fully attached foul. And as you can see, the attached foul on the right has slightly less recoil. So let's see how this gun performs in some actual gameplay. Area, watch the sky. Making contact. Okay. That was the foul, and now onto the Kilo. Uh, so again, we're going to start with its base stats. He has a damage profile of 42, 28, 28, 28, which is considerably less than the foul. This is like a completely opposite end of the scale when it comes to the foul and the Kilo, but we think they're two good guns to compare because of how different they are. 
Uh, the RPM is 750, which ranks fourth of all the assault rifles. It has a reload speed of 1.34 seconds, which is again fourth of all the assault rifles. Its aim down sight speed is 267 milliseconds, which is surprisingly a lot slower than the FAL, considering this is a gun that's supposed to be used at closer range. And then finally it has a movement speed of 93.5%, which ranks sixth of all the assault rifles. As I mentioned before, that doesn't really matter. So with this assault rifle, you've got a very different gun to the FAL. It's a gun that's designed to be used at a much closer range as opposed to the FAL, which can just ping at long range. Uh, but let's see how we can change some of those stats to make it a bit more long range with some of our attachments. And the attachments that we've chosen to go for are, again, the monolithic suppressor. You'll hear that a lot on all of our guns. The barrel that we're going for is the Singard Arms 19.8 inch Prowler. Uh, the stock that we've got is the Singard Arms Sniper Pro. We're using the operator foregrip to help us with that stability and then we've increased it to the 50 round mag and it's not as accurate as the file so it needs more bullets in it. So those attachments give us increased accuracy, range and control with decreased mobility, the exact same as the file. Hopefully that'll make for a good fight between the two guns. The final thing to look at is the recoil of the guns again. On the left hand side you've got the kilo without any attachments and on the right hand side you've got a fully attached kilo and again as you'll see the recoil on the fully attached gun is slightly less than that of the gun without any attachments. So for the final time, let's get into some clips and see how the gun performs. One dead silence. He's come up on the roof. Yeah, he's on the roof. He's nearly down. He is dead. He's driving in, looks like. I got 45 bullets. One hey, dropped oh. in, I killed him. Yeah, yeah. Nice, oh, Brad. Did he not go down? One's down. See, so, yeah, it's the only reason I don't like this bike. Dickhead. One shot in him. Broke oh. his shield, nice. Get out of here. Yeah, against the cliff though. I can't see him now. Oh. Done. That is potentially. Guys. Oh nice. Beautiful. This way from this this uh, rock here. Towards them. I that one's right me. by me. Oh, bloody hell. Dead, we win. Quick it boys. <laughs> God damn, you into the stream. <laughs> in summary. As everyone is currently scrambling for a gun to replace the nerfed growl, I think the Kilo and the Fowl, although very different, are ready-made replacements. If you're newer to the game or you simply prefer an automatic weapon, I'd say the Kilo is the gun for you. However, if you have a prime trigger finger ready for action, I don't think there's any ARs currently out there that can compete with the Fowl, and for that reason, the Fowl takes this one for me. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Any likes, comments and subscribers are really, really appreciated as for a new channel that's currently starting to grow. And we'll see you in the next one, ready for the next set of assault rifles.